hello, welcome to the uh, North Pennines. I've uh, just parked up in the small picturesque village of uh, Merton in uh, Cumbria. And yeah, it's beautiful, lovely day. Lovely sunny morning, blue skies. Got Merton Pike just up the top. And well, I'm headed eventually for uh, for High Cup Nick or High Cup, which I'll be at the the Nick end of. But first, I'm uh, going to take in uh, Cauldron Snout. So that'll be my first port of call, Cauldron Snout. I was going to take in uh, High Force, but I'd have had to have parked in Middleton on Tees and walked along. To high Cup that way, and I could have took in High Force, Cauldron Snout, and ended up at uh, High Cup Neck. But I was just worried about getting back from uh, Merton and back to Middleton on Tees again because bus services or I don't know, taxi would have been a bit expensive. So, no, I've decided to cut out High Force and just do High Cup and Cauldron Snout. All right, I'll bring you back. takes you pretty much to Cauldron Snout, but most of the land, well in fact a lot of the land on the other side of this uh, first peak is a military training facility, live firing, the uh, infantry and uh, yeah, ordnance as well, so red flag for flying which you've probably seen at the beginning of this video, so to get myself shelved a bit, so I've uh, took the alternative path. Straight up here. Alright, bring it back later. in the beautiful High Cup Gill. Awesome. Stunning weather. It's a little bit uh, breezy up here, but yeah, I'll be stopping down there tonight, so I'm not stopping here just yet. I'm uh, carrying on up to the uh, Cauldron Snout waterfall. Right, let's keep going.
So I made it to uh, Car Green Dam. Just been walking with this family. Still there with the two, uh, three dogs, sorry. Really great company. Thanks very much for uh, putting up with me for the last three or four miles or so. Right, just down here is the uh, cauldron snout. So I'm going to walk around the draft a bit. Now uh, let's go get a closer look. I had to come and took some footage of it earlier when it was sunny because now all this uh, haze is moving in. Set up over there. Oh. I'm in two miles now. Whether would stop or not because as soon as I've put the tent up, the wind's just gone mental. You know what I mean? Like, it's just crazy. It's like flattening my tent on one side almost. It's tent for a bit of an update. I know you can't hear a damn thing I'm saying out there, it's just so windy, it's unreal. I have actually uh, packed all my gear away. So I'm ready just to put the tent down and just, I don't know, keep getting intermittent signal, keep trying to check the forecast. Last time I checked it was just showing gales from now until 
dinner time tomorrow, so yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking I'm feeling to go, unfortunately. But it's been a great day out anyway, all the same. Awesome walk up to uh, Cauldron Snout, really enjoyed that. Yeah, really cool. And really, really glad I've come actually to see uh, who'd hike up Nick out there. Well worth it, it's just worth it just to see that, to be honest with you, yeah, it's awesome, really good. in the car. It's even started raining now, so well at least it forecasts the rain. I don't remember it saying stupid winds that will fight on your tent of winds. No, I don't remember seeing that forecast, but hey ho, I'm a little disappointed obviously, but somewhere I've really wanted to camp for a long time, but I'm really, really happy that I've seen the place, so that's one plus side and it's beautiful up until, I don't know, four o'clock and then it started getting windier and I time not set my tent up. Well, that seems to be the catalyst, it's like it's new. It's about flattening the turn, and it's just felt quite risky. But anyway, if you've watched this far, the abandoned camp, thank you very much. Thanks for liking my videos, uh, subscribing, and all your comments, much appreciated. And I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Until next time, goodbye.